The Browns have waived quarterback Johnny Manziel. After multiple problems and run-ins with the law, many saw the decision coming from a mile away, but how are Browns fans reacting? News Channel 5's Tara Molina joining us live from the team shop with more. And Tara, what are fans saying about this? Adios, sayonara, bye-bye. Any way you want to say it, the Browns have said goodbye to Johnny Football. And guys, the fans that I talked to today, they aren't all that surprised. Whitner, Thomas, Hayden, no Manziel. When I got to the Browns Pro Shop today, minutes after the team's announcement, they were already wheeling out number two jerseys by the dozen. But he's got to get his life together. Since getting drafted first round two years ago, Manziel started eight games for the Browns. But it was problems off the field that made headlines. Partying, drinking, photos and videos are still popping up weekly of Manziel going wild. He had a stint in rehab and most recently, domestic violence assault complaints from his ex-girlfriend. What did we think about him as a man? He was a bad influence. He was a bad influence. Some said they saw this coming. Manziel sucks anyways. He needed to be off our team. We're never going to win if he's still on there crying and whining about his ex-girlfriend. Who wants to hear that? But not everyone in Cleveland is breathing a sigh of relief. He's a good quarterback, though. I don't know why they let him go. He's going to mature. Just like Josh Gordon has matured, and he's going to come back and light the league up. Right now, all Johnny's been lighting up are nightclubs on the West Coast. I asked fans how they think he's taking this. He could be having a party, and he could be breaking some stuff. I know that. <laughs> This decision doesn't come cheap. The Browns salary cap hit for releasing Manziel more than $4 million. Live in Cleveland, Tara Molina, News Channel 5.